Welcome back to the news in the anime world for this week. Thank you all very much for joining me. Going with a little simpler format here for the week. Starting with uh, news about Studio Gainax and Studio Kara. There was an announcement this week. Uh, a judge at the Tachikawa branch of the Tokyo District Court has ordered uh, Gainax to pay 100 million yen, which is actually about $900,000, to Studio Kara, uh, after a lawsuit that Kara filed uh, back in December, uh, that basically Gainax had uh, um, borrowed a lot of money from Studio Kara and not paid it back. And in fact, um, the president of Gainax, Hiroyuki Yamaga, posted an apology on Gainax's website about all this way back when the suit was filed. So uh, they like, they know it's been there, but it apparently like went all the way to litigation before they actually paid, which is a pretty sad thing. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty bad. Um, uh, Yamaga and Ano, uh, who founded Studio Kara, and others were all um, uh, friends together back in college, and they co-founded Gainax in '85. Um, which is uh, uh, yeah, kind of a shame that things have gotten to that point where Kara has to. Sue Gainax, or I'm sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Um, anyway, uh, moving on to uh, slightly nicer news. Um, uh, there's an Anime Expo panel announced uh, just this past week for Furikuri, aka FLCL, aka Fuli Kuli. That will be about seasons two and three of Furikuri. And the description is showing trailer, poster giveaway, production announcements, etc. So apparently the trailer for seasons two and three of Furikuri will be dropping at Anime Expo this year. So if you want to check out the new Furikuri, that would be the place to go. Pretty darned exciting. We will see where that goes. Um, also exciting for Gundam fans, uh, the first episode of the latest Gundam OVA has just released this week. Gundam Tw uh, Twilight Axis which is based on a uh, very popular series of novels, Gundam Twilight Axis. Uh, it'll be a six-episode OVA, but uh, most of them will be f only three minutes long. So it's a very, very short OVA. Um, uh, probably actually an ONA. I think it'll be, be released mainly online. And uh, the first episode debuted on the Gundam Fan Club and uh, Gundam.info and Bandai's channel and as well as YouTube. Um, later episodes will stream only on the Gundam Fan Club every other week. So if you want to check it out, join the Gundam Fan Club. It is set in uh, 0096 of the Universal Century, um, centering on concerns about the Psycho Frame development uh, and dealing with um, uh, the asteroid Axis, which is a fairly significant uh, thing in, uh, in in Gundam lore. So. We'll see where that goes in terms of uh, storyline, but that's, that's pretty exciting to see new Gundam out there. Moving right along, a um, uh, bit of sad news, Anime Network Online has announced it will be closing on August 20th, the streaming service that's been running for a little while now. However, uh, it has been transferred, uh, uh, or its, it's uh, content has been transferred over to a new streaming service called High Dive, H A H I D I V E, uh, which launched on beta um, just a, a few days ago, and you can receive a credit to High Dive if you have a subscription to Anime Network Online. Um, High Dive does offer uh, ad-supported free, you know, uh, uh, showings of anime, subbed only. Uh, you have to pay four bucks a month for English dubs, plus some exclusive titles and. Uh, uh, some uh, other subtitle style options, as well as what they call uncensored content. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so who knows where that's going to go. But uh, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, ANO is shutting down, uh, but the content is will be available over at High Dive. Finally, our news of the weird, a Saitama man um, has been arrested on charges of obscenity. Um, he basically... Uh, posed as an inspector uh, checking for radioactive contamination um, and went into a the home of a an underage girl when her parents weren't there um, and then uh, said that he had to uh, 
uh, check her body to make sure that it was not contaminated. And um, um, the sort of big headline is the fact that he, he said in his deposition that he was imitating an adult doujin manga. And sure enough, he had in his possession a doujin manga with this plot line. Um, what's kind of not as, as obvious for folks who don't dig into this is that uh, um, he's been arrested from, uh, before from doing this, and uh, they believe he may be responsible for up to 20 assault incidences, incidents of similar uh, kind, you know, from the past. Um, so, yeah, he's been doing this a lot, um, probably. So, yeah, it's not just that they arrested him and, oh, he did this hentai. It's like, he's a, he, pretty sure he's a serial offender here. Um, and so the police have actually notified the, the doujin author, who was reportedly horrified that someone actually tried to, you know, imitate this in real life. Yeah, so, folks, don't do that. Don't, don't make your way into other people's homes under false pretenses. That's a, that's a bad thing, and it'll get you arrested and put away for a long time. So... That's your news of the week. That's your, your suggestion, your advice for the week. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next week.